Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-October 2023. And I'll uh, do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the moon. There are some things you're not seeing yet clearly about a situation. They might start to come out to the surface. No, not yet. Not yet, but eventually, possibly, yes. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Hierophant crossed by the Four of Pentacles. You're really hanging on to some sort of... I would say it's a connection here from the feel of it. Um, there's almost like a sense of stubbornness here. Like, I'm not letting this one go. Okay. But in your focus here, you come in with the Two of Swords, which is a lot of overthinking which is not helping the situation. That's why you're probably not seeing a lot of the things that are um, <clears throat> unfolding at this time when it comes to this one. In the recent past, the chariot, you used to pay a little more attention to what the universe told you, guided you towards, um, sent you, I don't know. In your strength, the three of cups, you really focused on getting this together, making this happen, keeping this together, you know, this connection, whatever this is to you. In the immediate future, the Queen of Wands, you're definitely, um, there's a sense of confidence that's coming to the surface a little bit, which is telling me you're starting to gain a sense of clarity a little bit. Um, supporting this reading, the Ace of Swords, it looks like there's something you want to do about something. Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the Seven of Swords, this Seven of Swords comes in, for me at least, as, um, again, the things you're not seeing yet, the things you're not acknowledging about the situation. Um, the, the funny part about these things is that they're right there in front of us. And then some time passes and then we get clear about the situation. And then it's like, it was right there. Why didn't I see it? Because we don't for some reason, you know? So it feels like one of those where... Something's unfolding right in front of you and you're missing it. Uh, it could be because of the synergy of the Two of Swords, where it looks like, man, it's coming down with those leaves. It feels like it's um, snowing. Um, where it feels like you're keeping yourself stuck in your head. It's, it's like, and what that means, especially for this situation, let's say something pops in from here. Um, and instead of looking at it, what it is, you know, let, let's say it's your me. And then... Pff, what do you do normally when you see something pop in like this? You kind of, whoa, what the hell, you know? But you're so focused on what the hell is going on here that's keeping you so busy and with your brain so engaged that this can do whatever the hell it wants. You're not gonna, nothing, you know? So that's kind of how it looks like here. In your hopes and fears, the sun, you just want happiness. You know, for things to work out and the potential outcome, the justice card, a little bit of balance is coming through, which is a good sign, especially when I see these kinds of energies of two of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, you know, things like that. Uh, that's always good to see. So let's clarify. <clears throat> Let me clarify the moon. The King of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords. What you're not seeing clearly about the situation is that you're actually getting further and further away from the truth of the situation. Um, again, by overthinking things, by looking in the this direction. Not to say that this is not important, but you're giving it so much importance that you're missing everything else. You know, So it's like you started off on a good path about this situation and then you got caught up in who knows what stories you tell yourself about the situation and that's not the truth about the situation so the more you do that the more you keep yourself up here busy and concerned up there with what's going on in the what if stories the further away you get from the truth 
Um, let me do the Hierophant. The Two of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups. Okay. So there seems to be some waiting here, almost like nothing is happening in this connection at this point. Uh, there seems to be some space here, which is space possibly between you and them at some point. But I feel like that brought in a lot of healing. And this space in physical reality or, or just... Just kind of like a pause. It feels like a pause where it looks like, okay, nothing's happening in this connection. Um, and that was the opportunity for you to heal. I feel like you took it. You're still in that space. But I feel like maybe you're starting to get eager. Like, no, we need to do something about this. We need to move the energies. Um, that's not the available energy for this. There's still a pause over this. So it's kind of like trying to force against the energies. Trying to, to like, okay, let's move. Well, the energies don't want that. And guess who's going to win? Because you're going to get exhausted by trying. And nothing really nice is going to come out of it. Um, I get your frustration. Because it you know, seems to be quite a long time here that nothing is happening. And it's like, well, let's make something happen. Okay, but it might not be the best thing. Especially because the energies are not available for that. For the Four of Pentacles, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups. And that's when it happens, when people gain clarity. Okay, so I spent some time with myself, I healed, I did this, I did that. Now I know exactly what I want. So it's only normal that I start moving in that direction, right? So okay, let's start to poke this to see if it wants to come with me. What if that, what you're trying to poke, is not ready? What if they haven't reached that aha moment about, you know? It's kind of like disrupting their process there. I don't know. Yeah, you could try, but with no expectations. And I don't see that here. I see quite the expectations. Like, okay, poke it. It'll come. Let's go. Because otherwise you wouldn't be overthinking things. If you didn't have expectations, you wouldn't be so much up in your head about things. So, yeah, you gain clarity. Yeah, you know what you want. The situation is not fully cooked yet, you know, for you to start eating it or whatever. Um, let's do the Two of Swords in your focus. You get the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Strength card. Yeah, and then, you know, it gets so frustrating when you get up here and create all of those what-if stories that you get to the point of, yeah, fuck this, I don't want to deal with this, I'm leaving this situation, I don't need this. Meanwhile, you did all of this to yourself. You know, nobody, nobody else participated in what's going on here. So, it takes a lot to acknowledge, you know, to, to recognize what you're doing to yourself here. Uh, I'm not sure if you're doing it or not. I just see the strength as, you know, maybe, maybe you are. Um, but yeah, you're creating some sort of heaviness here for the situation. Whereas the situation is hard to begin with, you know, there's this much waiting and nothing happening really. And then it's like, oh, okay, I got to be patient. But like, for how long? Come on now, you know? So it's just making things a little harder here. Let me do that three of cups in your strength. King of swords, ace of pentacles, five of cups. And you know, you've done this in the past too, you know, where you're like, okay, I'm clear. I know what I want. Let's go. Let's do which, again, quite the obvious, right? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get this party started. Possibly over there, unaware that you are holding on to a lot of expectations. And from that, this controlling energy comes into play, which, you know, we all have it. Um, where we want things to, to turn out our way. Well, when they don't, guess what? Expectations. Guess what that does? Disappointment. Guess what that does? Oh, uh, shit, I got to go through this energy that I did to myself and all of that. You know, so you did that before. You definitely did that before. So that's coming through as almost like a reminder. Like, you can't do the same thing in the same way and expect different results. You know? Let's do the Queen of Wands in the immediate future. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. 
these are looking um you're definitely getting better and better and better stronger within yourself so you're bringing a whole lot of great energies to the table stability courage charm i don't see your heart in there ironically you know i see a bunch of energies piled up in there and i'm like where's your heart at where's your connection to self to what's going on here um because you're coming from very practical energies, very, you know, straight up, clear. This is it. I'm going to do this. I don't know what this is, but you're definitely determined. Uh, so you got everything piled up, but your heart. Let me see what this is. So for the Ace of Swords, you get the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Well, that's ironic because you're like, well, you know, I'll bring in my heart when they open up theirs, which is a bunch of crap because um, that's what you want to do. So your action is towards this connection, but you kind of want to check where things are like, uh, well, do they love me? Because if they don't love me, why would I love them? <sighs> well, um, let's put them to the side. Let's pretend they don't exist in your reality right here Let, let's say they're far off away who knows where what they're doing whatever they're not here next to you you don't know how they feel you don't know shit they're who knows what they're doing uh how do you feel about them well i love them mm. so what's this game here of oh i'll only love them if they love me first i'll, I'll only show them if it's a bunch of crap that's why I asked, where's your heart at? Are you connected to that? I know you love them because otherwise you wouldn't go through all this crap here, you know? Um, that's a fact, but it's not showing up. If it's not showing up, that tells me you're not connected to your heart. And then you're telling me some sort of a, you know, kind of a round situation here of, well, you know, I'll go approach them. I'll kind of test the waters. And if they show any signs of, Oh my god their heart is open you don't want to know how much i'll open my heart oh my god that'll make me open up my heart no you should make you open up your heart you know not anybody else not any kind of other situation so okay but no let's do the seven of swords and the hidden energies six of cups the emperor the devil see because you're playing some games here you know, there's some games at play here. You may not realize what you're doing, but you're playing some games. And normally, we would call that manipulation. Um, you're not doing it from the perspective of, oh, yeah, I want to manipulate this person. I want to fuck with their mind. I want to do it. No. You're doing it from your own sense of fear and wanting to do this and expectations and all sorts of things. Because um, I don't see you being, you know, in that energy. You're not even aware of it. Uh, you're functioning from a very distorted kind of energy you do that first and then i'll do it or do this and then i'll do that do this i'll do that you know it's a little bit of a and then if it doesn't happen well you know what i'm upset i'll go away goodbye i hate you forever and ever and ever i don't think so you know so you're playing some games here you're playing some some not, not a lot, but enough to, to be like, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, what's going on? Um, let's do the sun. In your hopes and fears, the magician, the six of wands, the ace of wands. Now that's a real energy. That's the truth. That's your higher self talking to me and saying, look, I'm manifesting happiness. I want happiness. And I hope to God that I can bring that energy forward and come from that energy. Now... You are hoping, but what you're doing in actuality is you're bringing forward all of your fears, all of your insecurities, all of that that's running the show. And that's going to distort that energy of I want happiness. It's still going to show up as I want happiness, but it's going to show up as and I'm going to get it. I don't care how, I don't care when, I don't care. I'll do anything to get it. Even function under anger, hate, pain, fear, all sorts of things that are nasty because i want that happiness your higher self doesn't say that it says i want happiness and i know there's a very easy organic way to get there through acceptance through love through opening up my heart and that's it pretty simple energies you know let's do the justice card 
in the potential outcome, the lovers, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups. I mean, at least you're reaching a conclusion. It's not the greatest one, because it's obviously fear is taken over over there. This is a very important connection to you. And it's not going anywhere. Even if it left physically, even if it's going to leave physically for the rest of your life, it's not going anywhere. It's there in your heart. And you're telling me this is over, this is done. This connection is out of my life completely. Yeah, physically, yeah. In the most important way, which is energetically, it's never going to go anywhere. And that's the part where you're not getting it here. You know, Maybe that's the part you're not seeing clearly. Not yet. You know? So, as you kind of are engaging in these physical activities of games and whatever, expectations and all sorts of things like that, try to tap in a little deeper into this connection because it's going to show you something completely different than what's going on on the surface. You're keeping it up here too much. You know? So, let's see what the universe has. The Empress, the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. What I just said. If you want to look at it that way, it's kind of destined for... Yeah, this, this connection is not going anywhere. Whoever this is, is attached to your heart forever and beyond, possibly. But they're not here physically. Well, you know, or if they are, who knows how it's going that it feels like they're not. And I hate them, but then I love them, but then I hate them, but then... Yeah. The physical games of it all. When in reality, this is you, you're connected to this, and you're always going to be. So, let's do the Native Spirit Oracle. You get Grandfather Sky. There is the grandfather. Card meaning. This is your time to reach for the sky. Expansive energy, vitality, health, healing, and passion. These qualities are expanding in your life. The sky's the limit. You are a healer and a channel for the life force of the universe. Your ability to sense energy fields is increasing dramatically. Be prepared to soar to new heights. Your native spirit wants you to know, when you receive the Grandfather Sky card, you're entering into an expansive cycle. Do not hold back and repress what you feel. Your body and spirit will become drained. If you, still, if you strive to meet everyone's expectations but forget to honor your own needs, your energy field becomes dull. If you allow your emotions and needs the freedom to be spontaneously expressed, waves of incredible energy will expand inside of you. Running on your own resources, it's easy to become drained. However, letting the divine light of the Creator flow through you easily replenish your soul. The journey to deepen your connection to Grandfather Sky and bring an expansive energy into your life, stand outdoors with your arms reaching up to the sky. One of the fastest ways to bring joy and bounty into your life is through gratitude. Allow thankfulness to surge through you up into the heavens. That's a nice one. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.